Hello everybody, happy Friday. I'm trying to find my bundle. It's Facebook Friday, and we're gonna be playing with the More Than Autumn bundle. You guys, this is seriously my favorite thing in the whole holiday catalog. It's actually a Million Dollar Sales Achiever stamp set, Joe Golden, so Joe, I love it. It's seriously one of my favorites of all time. Um, this is actually this month's Club Create bundle also i usually don't double up but i love this one so much that i was like we have we have to do it for facebook friday too so hopefully you guys enjoy today's projects i know many of you have uh said you've already gotten it it's really cute okay so let's see you guys hopping on let's make sure i'm in the right place um okay there we are let's see you guys had a good week it's been um, a weird one here, but it's Friday. It's always good when it's Friday, right? All right, let's see, where do I wanna start? Um, how about paper pumpkin? I have just a couple more extra paper pumpkins from August. I don't have September's kits yet, but the August kit, um, I know many times you guys reach out and say, you know, my card was canceled or I didn't subscribe in time or whatever. So I always get a couple extra. And this month I still have a couple. And it's the little birthday card kit. Really cool um, birthday kit. Uh, two stamp sets and a spot. If you need a paper pumpkin, please reach out to me and let me know, okay? All right, there's that. Oh, you know, there's a new kit too. Let me grab this kit. I just got it. There's a new kit. Actually, I think there's two new kits, but this is the one that I ordered. And it is, let's see if you guys can see the picture. These little ornaments right here, look how big they are. They're really big. I have a feeling this one is gonna sell out. Look, it comes with these cute little pine cones and berries. Um, so make sure you guys look in our kit section. This is a no stamping kit. There's no stamping, they're just cute little ornaments. So make sure you check out our kit section online because it's really a cute one. I, I'm always partial to the kits that aren't cards. I think they're more fun, but that's just me. I know some of you only want the card kits, which I get too. All right, I'm gonna turn you guys around. I have several things to show you that I think will be better if I turn you around. Now, I got a new camera this week and it's working out great, but I'm using my phone obviously for Facebook Live. And I've re rearranged things, so when I put you guys up here, we might need to do some adjustments, okay? So let's see. Let's see if I can get you guys out, and then I'll turn you around, and then let's see if you guys are situated. It seems really close. Let's see, can I zoom out? Oh, is it really super close? Well, if it's super close, there's nothing I can do about that. Let's see. All right, well, you guys are gonna be zoomed in. Maybe that'll be good, because sometimes I feel like it's too far away. I'm gonna try a new software, too, in the next couple of weeks. So you guys just hang on with me, okay? I, I don't like change very much. I'm not, I'm not a fan of change. So it's hard for me to change to something new. And, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it to make this a little bit easier. Okay, let's talk about, well, let's talk about this first. So, in a second, I'm going to show you the new, um, like, scrapbooking stuff that we got. Um, there's a new scrapbooking line of products that have come out. And in that line of products, there is this new pack of Halloween paper. And I knew I wanted to do a Halloween class because I do a Halloween class every year. It's my favorite. But we didn't have paper, so I hadn't done it. So I ordered this paper when it went live on Wednesday, overnighted it, and designed the whole class yesterday. It's six Halloween treats. And you guys always ask me like, what treat fits in this box? So this time, because it wasn't the middle of July when I was making these projects, we had, there's actually Halloween candy in the store. I designed each project for a certain kind of candy. And so the class kit will tell you what candy you can put in there. Of course, you can put whatever you want in your boxes. Um, but this class is gonna use the potion and spells, or no, what's it called? The Halloween spells designer series paper and the sticker kit, the sticker uh, sheet, which I don't have here. Why don't I have it? Let's see, is it in here somewhere? Well, it's in this thing. You're gonna get this sticker kit too. Let me pull it out. Um, and six projects, okay? Here it is. 
Now, you're gonna have a whole lot of paper and stickers left. You're not gonna use all of them in your, in your kit, which is normally how it goes, right? Um, but look how cute they are, right? And it makes, it makes crafting a little bit easier. Sometimes we just wanna slap things together, right? <laughs> um, and this, this helps you do that. Um, so this class to go is gonna be a quick turnaround. Um, because you guys need it in time for Halloween stuff. So I'm going to open registration on Monday and I'm only going to have a certain number. And then when it sells out, it's gone. Um, so I'm trying to squeeze it in between some other things. So I, I'm not real clear on the dates. I'm going to, my goal is to have it shipped before the, during the last week of September. Okay. So it's going to be a really quick turnaround. So if you are interested in this Halloween treats class to go, make sure you're on my email list because I will send it out to my email list first. Um, also at any point, this could sell out and the bundle could sell out. Okay. You're going to need the bundle. Um, I know a lot of you have it. So the kit doesn't include the bundle. So if you need the bundle, you can add it on. And I, I always give you a little bit of a discount when you add on a bundle. Actually, I pay the tax and shipping for you when you add a bundle to the class kit. The details of that will come out next week. Um, the price is gonna be $48 for the kit plus $9 shipping. I'm gonna ship it the paper 12 by 12. So shipping is a little bit more. Um, it, the PDF is not available yet. It's not available. Are you talking about for today? Um, Denise for Facebook Friday or for this, um, this isn't ready yet. The PDF I sent to my proofreader, she's going to look at it this weekend and I will have it on Monday as well. Um, uh, my team is going to get a, thank you, Trisha. Is the PDF up also? Um, my team will get the kit for 30. The PDF is 15. There is no video for this class. It's just PDF with lots of pictures. Today's PDF is not up. Well, that's weird. All right. Okay. I'll check it. Hold on. Um, anyway, look for this on, um, I'm, I'm reading your comments. Look for this on Monday, the details for this. Okay. Um, I don't know why the PDF, what is it taking you to last week's PDF? The PDF is, is up or the, the post is up. Post is up. PDF is not. So is the PDF taking you to last week's PDF? It probably is, because you know what I do? I'm sure you guys do this. You copy paste, and then you just change. Today's PDF is up. So some people are saying yes, and some people are saying no. Oh, Trisha's saying both PDF and post are up. Okay, if you scroll down under the last photo, there's a square icon that says click here for the PDF. So look for it and see if you can find it. Okay, um, let's talk about paper shares. Um, if you need a little bit of all the papers that are in the catalogs, this is for you. You can choose either 12 by 12. Yes, I do 12 by 12. You can do 12 by six, or you can do six by six. You have three options. Um, this too will hopefully ship by the end of the month. Let me look at the calendar. This will probably go out like the 30th or the 1st of October. I'm actually going on a trip the 25th. So that's how my things are a little dicey. Um, anyway, this will probably ship more like the first week of October, okay? But if you're interested in this, um, there's info on today's PDF. There's also info on my blog, and you can email me for that link. If you're on my email list, you have already gotten the links for that. Okay, so that is that. Um, Club Create this month also just happens to feature this more than autumn. So if you are obsessed with this more than autumn, bundle like I am you need to subscribe for the club create kit this month there's four cards and a hot cocoa holder um, my club create kit is $45 a month this is September's kit the deadline to subscribe for this kit is tomorrow and that's a hard deadline um, I'll show you what the next kit is in just a second but it comes like this in a little plastic um, holder you get about $25 in product and oh, we've got a fly flying around a fruit fly um, that includes shipping and, um, it does not include the bundle. You can add that on again. I pay the tax and shipping for you. If you want that, um, the deadline for this again is tomorrow. Okay. If you stick around club create for six months, you get, um, a $25 product credit of your choice. Okay. 
Um, so that is that. And you can also cancel anytime. If you just want to sign up for this month, then you can just sign up and then cancel and you will get just this month. Okay, so there is that. Um, here is October's Club Create Kit. Um, it's the Snowy Wonder Bundle. I don't like the way this looks. This just looks weird. And I don't know how to fix it without a whole lot of problems. I'm gonna have to work on this later. So you guys, just forgive me as I work through tweaks this, this next couple of weeks. <laughs> I filmed a horrible video earlier in the week. If you saw Monday's video, it was horrible because I tried to use a different camera and the camera was C-R-A-P, I won't say the word, and the video is horrible and I didn't have time to redo it. But now I have a new camera that's beautiful, but I'm still trying to learn how to use it. Okay, so anyway, Club Create for October is gonna be the Snowy Wonder. It's uh, two cards, two fun folds, and a gift card holder um, using this cute little, um, this cute little, uh, little snow globe situation. <laughs> PDF and video for this are not up yet. They will be up on Monday if you're interested in just PDF, okay? So if you want to subscribe to Club Create for this kit, you gotta wait till Sunday. Don't sign up until Sunday, okay? Again, $45 a month, same as the other one. You're gonna get about $25 in product each month with lots of leftovers to make lots of other things. Okay, so that is that. Um, okay, let's talk about the new catalog. If you guys, um, I'm sure you guys have seen the new catalog, right? We also have this new thing called the scrapbooking brochure. Now I printed it on my printer because I am a weirdo like that. I love to have it printed. Um, my friend Kay, I don't know if Kay's watching, Kay will print the whole catalog on her printer. I haven't taken that step yet, but this was only like about, I don't know, 15 pages, so I printed it. Um, and these are really some fun products. Some of them coordinate with things that you'll see in the holiday catalog, like the reindeer memories. And then some of them are just totally brand new, like uh, this Autumn to Remember, these products. Um, I think we're going to use this next week for Facebook Friday. I have it. I, ha I like to work ahead and I don't have anything planned for next week. So I think it's kind of stressing me out. So I think that that's what we're going to do. I have to work on that this weekend. Um, but that, make sure you look at that. I'll have a link to that as well as this catalog um, into up at the um, top of today's live video for the, uh, you know, when I add all the links. So you can check that out. But I, of course, had to order everything and see what it's like. There's, um, so it's very hard to describe. There's the memories kit, right? And that's like a scrapbooking kit. And inside the scrapbooking kit, you're gonna get a bunch, oh look, I just tore the Ziploc bag. You're gonna get a bunch of stuff. And basically it's got these awesome diagrams for you to make these layouts and stuff, which, you know, if you struggle with coming up with ideas, this is fabulous, super fabulous. Um, there's paper in here, designer series paper, pattern paper, um, as well as some cardstock that is a two-tone cardstock. Can you guys tell how it's two-tone, one side is lighter than the other? Look, that looks like Beetlejuice, doesn't it? That black stripe with the green, that just reminded me of Beetlejuice. I keep seeing Beetlejuice everywhere. Okay, where did it go? Right there, doesn't that look like Beetlejuice? Anyway, um, and then you also get that sticker sheet that I showed you. So that those are the scrapbook kits. Um, there's uh, the Halloween memories, there's the reindeer memories, which also comes with the paper, the cardstock. Um, there's also little placeholders for photos. So you can put like a little placeholder so you know exactly what size a photo is. And a sticker sheet. Um, and then there's this one, Snowy Days. And this one coordinates with that bundle I just showed you um, that we're using for um, Club Create in October. And then there's this one, Autumn to Remember. And we will dive into this next week. I'm not even gonna open it right now, um, but we'll dive into this next week. So you can buy them as little, like a little kit, right? Like everything in one. Or you can buy things separately. So the two-tone cardstock you can buy as its own pack. So if you just needed the cardstock or maybe you needed more cardstock than what was in the kit, you can do that. You can buy the sticker sheet with a designer series paper, right? Okay, now I'm questioning myself. Hold on, let's look. I like was like, just add it all to the cart. I can't even remember. Um, the sticker sheet, yeah, comes with 
the paper. Yeah, so the sticker sheet can't be bought on its own. It has to come with the paper. Um, there is a stamp set for each one of these as well. It's really geared more towards scrapbooking, like big titles and stuff. Um, you know, date stamps and stuff, which are really cool. Um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Or you can just buy, like I did, the paper. Well, no, the paper comes with a sticker sheet. I, is it clear as mud to you guys? <laughs> Have I explained it so well that everybody understands? Okay. You can get it as a kit. You can get the cardstock standalone. You can get the paper and the stickers together. You can get the stamp set standalone. All right, does that make sense? Anyhow, I haven't scrapbooked in a very long time. I'm almost like nervous to scrapbook and that's all I did when my kids were little. So I don't know why I feel like that. I'm a little intimidated by it. But uh, those of you that have more than two kids, well maybe even if you have two kids, you know that third kid's scrapbook is like two pages and the first kid's scrapbook is like a thousand pages. So maybe this will help me get caught up on my third child, right? I don't know. I, I'm going to challenge myself to make some scrapbook pages. I haven't done it in a long time, so it makes me a little like, ah, I don't know. But th that makes it so easy with it just laid out like that, right? Okay, one more thing I need to tell you, and then we'll get started. What time is it? Um, this month's All-Star Tutorial bundle. Do you guys see this is my binder from school, Social Studies and Science. <laughs> I've had that, that binder clip for a long time. Um, Unbounded Beauty is what we're doing this month. You can earn this PDF for free by spending $50 with me in September. Uh, they're all video tutorials, so each page has a QR code that you click. Look at that, that's so clever. Um, that you click and it takes you to the video. I only designed one of the projects. All 11 others are designed by other demonstrators, so it's really cool. You get a variety of, um, you know, styles. Um, this is my project this month. I can't remember what's inside. Shall we look? I can't remember. I've made so many things lately. I'm going to tell you how I screwed one of them up later on. Um, oh, yeah. Have you guys had these? Um, these Cliff Nut Bars? I wish I hadn't discovered them. They, they disguise themselves as healthy, but you know they're not. You know they've got like a ton of carbs and all that stuff. But anyway, they're delicious. So anyway, that's the box that's in. That's my tutorial that's in this PDF this month. Um, but there are 12 all together. You can also buy this PDF in the PDF store for $15. Uh, my team gets it for free, so that's a benefit joining my team. If you've been thinking about it, um, my team gets all my PDFs for free. Okay, um, I'm going to grab a ponytail holder because suddenly I'm hot. Is this, is this what rounding on 50 feels like, guys? You just get hot all of a sudden? Yeah, I, I, I seem to get hot every time I'm doing Facebook Friday. I'm blaming the lights and not my hormones, <laughs> right? Okay, we are ready to go. So um, we, we've come to the agreement that the PDF is there, right? The PDF is there. If you haven't joined me before for Facebook Friday, welcome. Um, I, I'm like off my game today. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm a little flustered. You know what? I will tell you guys later what's going on with me. I've got some major anxiety going on because my family is all traveling in different places and it's scaring me. Oh. Anyhow, um, yes, it's the lights for sure, Sarah. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. <laughs> Why can I not get this straight? I don't like it when it's crooked. Um, so every week for Facebook Friday, I usually have a better production than this. But anyway, I pick one product and we make three projects with it. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm off center too, which really feels weird. Really off centered. Um, if you like today's projects, I will send them to you as a kit for free, as, as, um, as a thank you. Uh, you just have to put in a $35 order online, stampinup.com, use the host code. Here's the host code. It's also on today's PDF. And I'll send them to you for free. They look kind of like this. They come with a tag, a thank you tag. But other than that, you have to do all your stamping. Um, but I will send you, you know, like ribbon and um, cardstock die cuts that you need. Uh, what you will need for the projects that we're doing today is you will need these dies for sure. That's weird. Why did that stick there? And this awesome stamp set. So 
What can you order? You can order anything you want. I don't really even look most of the time at what you guys order. Order whatever you need. If you already have this, but you want the projects, then order cardstock. Order, um, you know, adhesive. Order another stamp set. Order that awesome scrapbook kit that I just showed you. As long as it's $35, then you're gonna earn, why am I obsessing over this today? Then you're gonna earn the kit for free, all right? Okay, well let's get <laughs> let's get started. Oh my gosh. Okay, first card. We're gonna start with this really cute cup. Now you have a lot of different options, and I'm gonna say that like 500 times today. You can um, personalize your little goodies here as much as you want, um, and then your sayings can also be altered however i mean there, i actually had a trouble like deciding on which sentiments to use because they're all so cute and funny this one says this calls for hot cocoa you could you could have also put nothing's better than hot cocoa or you had me at hot cocoa um hot cocoa is the best and then you also can either stamp the words or die cut some of them are die cuts so really i mean there's just like a million combinations of things that you can do um, so this card is actually a slide and lock card. We've made one of these before a long time ago, but it slides up like this. Let's see if you guys can see how it's attached there. It slides up and down, and when it op slides off, then it opens like that. So it, I, I think it has pretty big wow factor, but it's actually not difficult at all. So the hardest thing I have is just getting it back together, which really isn't that hard. Okay, so let's do our stamping first. There's a lot of coloring today and a lot of die cutting. So I've done a lot of things ahead of time just to kind of save us on some time. Um, I am momming by myself this week. My husband is on his annual elk hunting bonanza. <laughs> so I have to definitely be done um, relatively on time because I have to do pickup all week by myself. I don't, like, I don't like high school pickup. It is the worst. Those kids, those high school drivers in the high school parking lot are the worst. Um, but duty calls, right? Okay, let's stamp. We're gonna stamp the cup twice. And then we're gonna stamp the, um, oh, I don't need to close that. We're gonna stamp the whipped cream twice and then we've got the little gingerbread man we'll just do him once and then we're going to do the straw once and the cinnamon sticks we're going to get, do two of those now you guys tell me do you have how many of you bought this set like it was one of the first things that you bought definitely it was first thing i bought i loved it uh, I've seen some really cute things online with it. All right, we're gonna use real red. And my, sometimes I cannot tell the difference between light and dark on my caps. Do you guys have trouble with that? Some of the colors look really close together. You guys have gotten this stamp set? I know, it's the cutest, I love it. Okay, so I was thinking let's do the cups like Starbucks. And you know, they have the red cups during the holidays. We'll do one that has a white cup and a red sleeve, and then the other one we'll do red cup with white sleeve. So I'm just using my light to color that in. And that was the bullet point. Now I'm gonna use the brush end, and I'm just gonna kinda do this like swoop here for the shadow, like that. And then I'm gonna switch over to that brush end and just flick over that that ink, that kind of creates a shadow. All right, now we've got our light out. Let's just keep it open. Oh, I was gonna color that different. Let's stamp it again. Let's stamp it again. Now, you guys, I gotta tell you something. I need some advice. Um, our other dog, Matt, or Charlie, you know, we had two white schnauzers and Mac passed away in July. Um, he was 14 and a half and Charlie is the same age and guess what he is sick he has 
he started coughing really bad, a whole lot, and he's kind of gagging, and I thought, uh-oh, I thought maybe it was a heart. You know, a lot of times, that's what happened with Mac. They get this heart murmur thing, and it causes them to cough. Well, he's got lung cancer. I don't, I've never heard of a dog having lung cancer, but apparently it happens. And so we brought him home. There's nothing they can do for him, you guys. And I, how am I supposed to decide when it's time to take him back? You know, when, when I, I it, it's been, it being put up to me to decide when, you know, take him in and say goodbye. I, you know, we did it with Mac and it wasn't too difficult because he was having seizures and he was, it was bad. But Charlie, I guess, have you guys, I'm sure some of you have faced this. I don't know how to make that decision. And it's really weighing on me and it's causing me some major anxiety. It, you know, they are, they both lived really long, wonderful lives, 14 and a half, well, 14 years, eight months is a pretty long time pretty long time. And they were both white. And you know, my um, vet actually told me that white dogs usually have more trouble than any other dog. They usually have some kind of genetic type things. And, and they both lived a really long time. I'm using copper clay for these next pieces. I thought copper clay was a good kind of cinnamony color. So you guys, have you dealt with this? It's so hard, right, Marcy? How do you know? Yeah, I don't know, you guys. Your dog growing up had lung cancer. When to take him is when the bad days outnumber his good days. Well, Ken, that's the thing, you know? I mean, he's coughing all the time, but then he's also himself. He's not eating a lot, but he is eating. I know, that's such a bummer. I'm sorry. I just needed advice, you guys. Um, okay, I'm going to read your comments, but let me tell you first what we're going to do. You need to cut all these out. I want to point something out that I did not realize. I had played with this set like eight times before I realized it. Thank you, guys. You're so sweet. It sucks. I'm also worried about Pepper, our other dog, because then she's going to suddenly be alone. How do you just take the other one to the vet, and then she's like, where'd he go? You know, like, and he doesn't come back. I, I don't That's causing me problems, too. Okay, you have this dye right here for the whipped cream, right? Well, for the pumpkin pie on another project that I did, I'm going to show you this in a little while. I cut the, the uh, whipped cream so that it would be little on the top. Then I realized there's actually a dye for that. So there's another little tiny dye where you can cut just a tiny bit of the whipped cream. Clever, right? There's so many dyes in here, you might miss it. So I wanted to point that out. Okay, so you get them all cut out. Look, I already did all of that. Thank you guys, you're so sweet. I I don't know. I'm gonna read all your comments. Yeah, 16 is a long time. 16 is definitely a long time. Um, you know, it's kind of hard because they've happened so close together, but then also it's not surprising. They were exactly the same age, you know. I don't know. It stinks. It really does. All right. Let's put these. It feels silly to talk about this now, but that's, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is this is why we're here. Yeah, it's, you guys, it's, it's tough. It is tough. All right, we're going to put this whipped cream on here. And then you, now let me tell you something, okay? This one I need to save for in a little while for the other project. Um, these little guys, you're going to need post-it tape. You are going to need post-it tape to glue these things down because they are tiny. I mean, not to glue, to hold the dies down. They are teeny tiny and you want to make sure that they don't slip and it's, it's hard because they're so small. So make sure you use your post-it tape to hold them in place. You know what? I didn't need a glue dot there. I needed a regular, well, we'll just put the peppermint on there. All right, gingerbread man goes here. This little basic black heart can go here. This heart die is also in this set. I was so glad that they put a heart die in there. All right, now get these peppermints. Now, do not throw rocks at me. I know these are sold out like immediately. They're due back week after next. 
So I would start checking next week. They usually give us a date further out so that we won't be disappointed if they don't come in on time. Look how cute that is. And I forgot to stamp the sentiment. Dang it, I'm just off my game. Okay, you know what? Oh, you know, some days I think I'm like, wow, I'm really a smart cookie. And then other days I'm like, how do you even function? <laughs> okay, here, let's do this. Let's see if we can get it all to fit. You really want to do your stamping before you put your things on there so you'll know where to put them. Let's see if we can fit it in. Hot cocoa right there. And then this calls for right above it. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. Now, did you see how I took that off? You just cut that dimensional in half and it'll come right off. Otherwise, it's kind of hard. I just, I'm making something for something I'm doing for my team. And I was making a bunch of them. And I st stuck a bunch of hearts on with dimensionals all upside down. And I had to go back and do them all over again. It's those little book things, you know, those new little book boxes we have. And I wasn't really paying attention. I was trying to put all the stuff on it before I put them together. And then I realized they were all upside down. So that I had to go through and each one of them. Been that kind of day. Definitely been that kind of day. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I need to give myself some grace. Okay, so here's the other thing. My husband left to drive to Colorado today, which scares the bejesus out of me. And my daughter, my high school daughter, is driving to Waco to spend the weekend with her sister. I'm going to take white uh, crafting and go all the way around this rectangle, okay? Um, I was going to take her and meet my daughter, my other daughter halfway, but then it didn't work. I have, we have basketball tomorrow. My husband's out of town. So I'm like, sister, you're going to have to make this drive by yourself. It's three and a half hours. I can watch her on life 360. I'm looking for my white. Do you guys see it? My white, where did it go? I thought, oh, here it is. I'm going to take my white, um, watercolor pencil and add some faux stitching on here. Um, if you have a white gel pen, you can do that too. I don't have a gel pen anymore. So this will work. So she just left. And she's a good driver, I think. <laughs> um, I was like, she's going on I-35. Those of you in the middle of the country, you know that highway. It's the worst. And I said, you stay in that right lane and you just let people pass you. And don't follow too closely. And keep your eyes on the road. And don't go to any gas stations. <laughs> I'm more concerned about her going to some gas station with creepy, I don't know, travelers, and she'll be fine. She'll be fine. They're then driving to Dallas from there to go to a concert, and my older daughter was talking about a mosh pit, and I was like, excuse me, excuse me, what are we talking about here? So I need prayers. <laughs> <laughs> my daughters need prayers. I need prayers. Oh, it's hard being a mom, y'all. It's hard. Okay, we've got that all together. I've talked your ear off. You probably are like, what did we make? I have no idea. Okay, let me focus on this so we get this right. You need a card base. This is half a sheet of cardstock, eight and a half by five and a half. You score it from each end at two and an eighth. So you have a gatefold. Okay, then you're going to put your designer series paper. I want to show you this paper. Take a bow designer series paper. It is six by six and it's all these, I mean, perfect little cute Christmas patterns. I am going to use this paper a bazillion times between now and Christmas. It is great paper. You get like, I think eight of each, almost said slice, <laughs> eight of each one. They're double-sided, they're simple patterns, and they are red and green. I love when we just have a simple red and green pattern. Makes things easier. You can get it in a bundle with a punch that makes a bow as well, if you're interested in that. So we're gonna use the candy cane paper. Okay, put those there. The measurements for this is, are, on, is, is, are, the measurements are on the PDF. So make sure you check it out. All right, and then we're gonna just, we gotta fancy up the inside. Uh, yes, thank you. You know, 
why being on the road is scary. Last night I couldn't sleep. Worrying about my husband, worrying about my kids. <sighs> I don't know. Life, life is life. I don't know. I mean, you just hear of things, you know, you hear of things that happen and I don't know. Your brain is like, let me, let me take you on a walk down the worst things that could possibly happen. And let's have a show, a slideshow in your brain of all the horrible things that could happen. And that's where I was yesterday. <laughs> Why do our brains do that to us? Why? You got to have this little gingerbread man in here because he's so cute. You could turn this into a gift card holder too. And if you want to do that, take this little slice of paper that was left over when you cut those two pieces and do it this way. And then you can just slide the gift card in because, you know, it's that time of the year where we're going to need a lot of gift cards. Okay, now I meant to glue this at the very beginning and I did it. So we're going to use just regular adhesive, but I would recommend glue. You need four two by two squares and two of them you are going to fold in half. Okay. And then pretend you're using liquid glue and not stamp and seal because stamp and seal is not the best choice for this probably. Put that adhesive on there, and then you're gonna have these open up like this <laughs> to the outside, okay? So this one, match the corners. It's gonna be hidden, so it doesn't have to be totally perfect. And that goes there. We're making a little sandwich, okay? These are, these are the peanut butter and jelly on the inside of your sandwich. Okay, can you see how we made those? Now we're gonna put another flat one on top, and I'm getting ready to run out of adhesive. Can you guys see the orange? All right, so you put this on top like this. Butterfly wings, Trish, exactly. All right, see how that is like that? And basically you're gonna slide that side in there and this side goes in here and that's how it slides, okay? And then we'll just adhere our cute little Starbies Christmas cups right here, like this. You guys, I haven't seen you in two weeks, right? I feel like it was summer the last time we had Facebook Friday and suddenly it's like fall. Like everything is fall, everything is pumpkin spice, everything is pumpkins. Like it's funny how quickly it goes. And you know what, actually here it feels a little bit fall-ish, which is highly unusual for us. Usually the first little break we get from the hundreds, the high 90s, is the very end of September around my birthday. I always remember it's around my birthday. And this year, it, this whole week, we've had rain and cool weather. I'm like, what is this? I love it. I love it. I, we got lucky this year. We paid, we paid the dues last summer. And I know up there, I heard up, um, the Today Show was saying up Great Lakes area, you guys were having some really nice, like cool, crisp snaps. Is that right? I love it. I've been to Michigan in September and it was lovely. Okay, there's our card. What do you guys think? A card that moves, like a little elevator. I love making these cards, these uh, slide and locks. Peppermint, they'll be back in stock soon, sooner rather than later. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like that. Let me clean up my mess. And now we've got two 3D treats. Um, I <laughs> have made like 30 3D treats this week for different things. And I uh, yesterday realized that my last project when I filmed the video, I used the wrong thing in the box. I mean, it fit but it wasn't the right thing. So when we get to the third project, remind me to tell you. All right, now check this out, you guys. Look at this. Look at how cute. I keep forgetting, this used to be center over here. Now I gotta be right here, center. Okay, now let me tell you this paper. Let me, let me grab it out of my cabinet because you've gotta see this paper. You know that if it's gingham, I am going to use it immediately. This blue Knight of Navy gingham is in this um, a little bit festive, they're calling it a little bit festive specialty designer series paper. So this pack is $10. The only problem is that you only get one sheet, okay? You get one of that, you get one of this, 
and there's another one in there, and then one of this. Look, that one's really cute, too. I really like the navy with that. Um, oh, and there's the little candy stripe on the back. Then the other sheets are just card fronts, one-sided card fronts. I mean, talk about easy, and then you've got die-cut pieces. This would be great for scrapbooking, too. Look how cute. Okay, so that's where this paper is from. Now, I'm not using it for Christmas, but that's okay. All right, and we're just gonna use a little piece of it. So you'll have plenty left for your Christmas projects. Okay, would you like to see what's inside, you guys? This is a new treat that I had never seen before. I just stumbled on it at Walmart. They are 100 calorie donuts. I'm sorry, how come no one told me there were 100 calorie donuts? How cute are these? And they're good. Um, they, there's two different ones. Um, the other one was had a pink icing on it, which maybe would have been better for this, but whatever. I wanted to use my pinks to match the sprinkles on there. Um, they look like this. There's only four in the box though, but a little bit healthier treat than uh, maybe some of the other things that we do, okay? <laughs> <laughs> very cute all right so you can find that at walmart i also linked it today i think from amazon if you just want the easy button um you can order them but the pink ones are really cute too i know so adorable you know i always think i don't know if my mom's on here she always has an afternoon coffee i'm not a coffee drinker so i don't know this but she always has an afternoon coffee and a little snack to go with it i thought that would be so good to go with a coffee right I thought that would be cute. I know. I was so excited when I found these because I had never seen them. All right. Now, you guys, here's the other thing. I had a stack of notes, of measurements, a stack of all the things I designed this week. And then when it came down to typing this PDF yesterday, I was like, I hope this is the right, <laughs> the right sheet for this. So let's see, okay? Six and three-fourths by eight and a half. Um, we're going to score the long side. Yeah, this is right. Three and four, seven and eight. And then the short side, we're going to do one, four and three fourths, and five and three fourths. I used to have a notebook. My downline and friend Gloria taught me that she had a little measurement notebook. She write everything in a notebook, and I used to do that. But suddenly I have stopped doing that, and I just have all these scraps of paper with random measurements on them, I need, to, I need to get a notebook again to write my measurements down so that then I won't be guessing, like, what is this random piece of paper here? It had, I could tell this one had um, a donut, like I had stamped off the word donut on it several times, so I was like, okay, I think that's, I think that's safe. Okay, now, when you scored it, here's the long side, you have this half inch section over here. We're gonna actually cut off these, um, that bottom one, and then you're gonna cut off both of these. And when you do, see how I made an angle right there? Just cut that off at an angle. Okay, now this is gonna be the front side. I need my bigger scissors for this. Um, there's two sections here and one section down here. Let me think about it. Okay, the side that has this this is gonna be the back that has the lid that comes forward. So that means we need to cut off these three sections. Um, I made recordings of these for YouTube yesterday, and so it might be a little bit easier because the editing is a little bit better over there, the lighting and stuff. Um, you might be able to see it better. So if you're confused by what I'm doing, please go and watch that. Um, it's a little bit better, I think. Okay, so cut, see how we did like a little, this always reminds me of Tetris. We cut that off. Now this one, we're gonna cut, you don't wanna cut it from this way because then the tab would be attached to the lid. We want the tab to be attached to the side. So snip that like that. And then do the same thing over here, like that. And then we're just gonna snip these and I can go back to my smaller scissors for this. This is Knight of Navy, I don't know if I said that, and I decided we're gonna use pinks to match the donuts, so we're using uh, Melon Mambo and Bubble Bath. Those are our pinks. Cut the corners off of that one, and let me lay it down so now you can see what it looks like. Did I cut that off? Oh, dang it. Okay, everyone close your eyes. Hold on, 
Close your eyes. I'm going to fix this. Are your eyes closed? Close your eyes. I'm just going to, let's see, I'm going to put this right here and we're going to tape it back so that it's supposed to be there. Okay, Shh. you're not seeing this. Okay, there. That's how it's supposed to look, okay? <laughs> see, I need to stop talking. No more talking. Focus, Erica. Focus. Okay, again, there's a much better video tutorial of this project over on YouTube. I highly recommend you go look at it because over here, I'm a mess. Take your adorable gingham designer series paper and put it on that side. I know that's right, okay? And then we're gonna use tear and tape right here. Don't you love it when you've just taken all that time to trim and snip and burnish and you cut a tab off? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, now fold this over like that. And there's your box. Well, my poor little tab. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you you know, it's fine. Everything is fine. It's fine. Fold in the sides, fold in the back, and then get your adhesive. Put that right there. And we'll fold in the front tab. Front tab. Like that. All right, and then you can get your bone folder. Yes, oh, I'm full of mistakes, Trisha, full of mistakes. More mistakes than not. All right, now, I haven't been using my corner rounder because we don't have a corner rounder right now, but you know what? I bet you guys have a corner rounder. I try to only use things that, you know, that you can get because I, I feel bad when you say, where do you, where'd you get that? And then I'm like, it's retired. So I try not to do that, but if you need a corner rounder, you just have to go to Amazon. All right, put your donut in. And I was gonna, I was gonna have this stay out, and that's why I rounded the tabs. But then it just covered up that cute paper, so I decided it's going in. And if you round the corners, it goes in much easier. <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on. It's sliding out of my wonky tab. What's going on, guys? What's going on? Do what you're supposed to do, paper. Please. Why isn't it going in? Okay, guess what? Today we're leaving it out. Holy cow. Today we're leaving it out. <laughs> I think I need a nap and a margarita. All right, donuts. We're going to stamp the donuts in memento black. I'm going to use dark bubble bath and light melon mambo. Does your donut shop have the one with the pink icing? Ours does. Most of them do, right? They have the pink icing. It's like cherry. My daughter used to get the, the pink icing one. So use your small tip, your bullet tip point, whatever, whatever it's called. I cannot speak today. I apparently cannot focus and color it all in. All right, and then we'll switch over. I'm using the light melon mambo because the dark is really dark. And then I'm using the darker bubble bath because the light is too light. So sometimes you have to play around and decide which one's better. And I'm not doing shading on this. This is just icing. There's no shading. Um, you guys, Beetlejuice um, is coming out this weekend, right? Did I? No, I didn't tell you guys because it was last weekend. Um, we watched, the girls want to see... My youngest loves Jenna Ortega, and she wanted to see the new Beetlejuice. And we were like, well, then you must watch the old Beetlejuice. So we turned it on, and that is the worst movie. I cannot believe we loved that movie so much when we were kids. Why? It is awful. I, could, I, I couldn't even finish it. We had to like fast forward to the end so she could see what happened at the end. I can't believe they're remaking it. I mean, when we were kids, we must have watched that movie a thousand times. It's one of those tapes you know, movies we had on tape, I think. It's terrible. It's terrible. But we'll probably go see the new one. All right, add a little bit of Wink of Stella. I used crumb cake on the cake part. 
of your donut. You could also use pecan pie. Then get your dies. And let me tell you something about this die. You see how there's like a little notch there and a little notch there. You need to, you need to look and turn it because you've got two little notches in your donut, right? So you need to turn it and make sure you get the right notch. One is not right and it, it will, it'll look, it'll look wrong. You'll be like, that's not quite right. So then turn it, okay? So cut out your donuts using that, which I've already done. I've got those right here. We're gonna stamp the sentiment in Versamark. And what sentiment are we using? Nothing's better than donuts. Let's do this A little embossing buddy. I always forget to put this on the supply list. If you need this, this is the embossing accessories. No, the boss embossing additions kit. And it's really great. It comes with the um, embossing buddy, which removes the static. It comes with a tray. It comes with a little paintbrush so you can brush the little granules away that are in the way and reverse tweezers. It's a good little set to get. It's also a nice gift. You know, like if your husband's like, what do you want for Christmas? Send him the link. It's only, I think it's only $30. It's not, it's not terribly expensive, but you need it. Okay, nothing's better. White embossing powder on navy. Okay. Then we'll get the circle. We need some, you know, I don't know what a grid paper is. Let's just use this. Um, we're gonna use the little sprinkles. Do I have pink? I do, I do, I'm prepared. I'm a professional, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes when things are edited. All right, I'm just gonna use bubble bath to go around the edge, adding those cute little sprinkles like that. And then we'll use Melon Mambo and write or stamp donuts. I wish my handwriting looked like that. All right, so now we're gonna take our donuts and we're gonna use dimensionals. This one, I my die slipped, so we're gonna cover, we're gonna cover that up a little bit like that. And then, do I have a trimmer? I do. We're going to just trim this. You just want this, just trim it down so that you have a rectangle of, around the words. Just trim it down, you know, right around the words. And then I'm gonna use foam adhesive strips for this. These are just for shaker cards. And we'll do that and put that there. Okay, now, because my little guy won't tuck into the card, we're gonna do it how I originally had planned. I mean, into the box. When you have something like this, like we can just put it there so it tucks down into the circle. Okay, and it'll, hold, it'll keep it closed like that. All right, so two choices, tuck it in or leave it out. And when you have problems with yours, you can just leave it out. Although I have, oh, where are my glossy dots? Although I have messed mine up, hopefully you won't. Let me grab my glossy dots. These are, um, these have been around for a while and they are Melon Mambo, so we're gonna use them. Couple of dots and then this white frayed edge ribbon. Thanks, Trisha. You know, every project can be salvaged, right? Eh, maybe not. Most projects can be salvaged. When you cut the tab off of the box, you usually have to start over. And we were not starting over. We were not going to start over today. You could cut both tabs off and then it would be fine. And you would have just a little bit of a gap and that would be okay. All right, there we go. All right, we're done with the donut, the donut box, not donut, donut box. What do you guys think? 
Have you all seen these 100 calorie fiber one delicious donuts? I think they're pretty new. All right, let's get to our last project. Let me clean up a little bit. Hi, right, don't you love Melon Mambo and Night of Navy and uh, Bubble Bath together? I think they're really cute. Okay, last but not least, we had to do something pumpkin spice. And this is what I originally had designed this box for. These are from Target. We've, done, we've used these before. I ordered them in the mail because my store didn't have them yet and they melted because, you know, it's hot here. So they don't look so good, but they're okay. But let me show you in my video yesterday what I put in here. Have y'all seen these? Snickers, a two, two set, double pumpkin Snickers. Yummy. So, you know, that fits in there too. When I got done with that video, I was like, why did I put, if I put pumpkin spice on the outside of the box, because it says you had me at pumpkin spice, why did I put chocolate on the inside? And then I was like, hold on, wait a minute. I think I had something else in there. Jeez. Okay, let's make our box first. Where did I put my Simply Score? Right here. Pumpkin pie is what we're going to use. Let's look at the measurements. Remember, they are at the bottom of your... Lisa, are you not a fan of pumpkin spice? 10 by seven and a half, okay? Um, the short side, we're gonna, we're gonna start with the short side. Two and a half, three and a half, six, and seven. Well, if you don't like pumpkin spice, I gave you, gave you an alternate, right? Those um, Snicker Pumpkin double packs are from Walmart. Um, one and nine on the long side. All right, we've got the little pumpkin stamp and we're gonna stamp our little pumpkin. You know, let's do some trimming first so that we know which side is gonna be the front. Burnish your lines with your bone folder. Like this, all the way down. I love a long and skinny box. I don't know why, I just love a long and skinny box. Okay, you've got on this end a half inch. Again, just like the other one, we're gonna cut those off. Let's see if I can not cut all my tabs off this time. And then we will cut this one off like that. And then you're just gonna snip, snip, snip. And on the bottom, I am gonna cut the corners off. On the top, I don't know. I kind of like the tabs to be square when you open the box. So we'll leave these square. If they, if they poke out the sides, then we may have to trim them. We'll see. All right, so here's your box. And I'm just gonna take the little pumpkin and just stamp it. And you wanna have it going different directions. So turn your stamp or turn your paper. all over and you could do all the sides if you want but i'm just going to do the front and maybe okay maybe that side since i went over let's do that side too well then i maybe i need to do that side too <laughs> we'll just leave the back all right there's that take your uh tear and tape pumpkin spice everything for you joan yes you know, I like pumpkin spice, but I like it, I think, because it means fall is here, and I love fall so much. Um, what did I eat? I ate something that, oh, I made pumpkin muffins this morning for my kids, and I ate one, and I was like, that's good, but it's not like I, I don't know. I don't love love, but I definitely like it. All right, so you've adhered that to the other side. Um, which side did we snip okay we're gonna fold again the sides the back and then the front we'll use tear and tape there's a ton of pumpkin spice things guys i even saw that dawn power spray comes in pumpkin spice i haven't found it yet but i saw somebody post about it online you know i'm going to be buying that yes how fun do you have you guys used dawn power spray 
power wash. Is that what it's called? It's so good. All right, this box holds two of these. Love pumpkin spice foods, but don't do lattes. Maybe that's what it is, Les. I don't like coffee, and I always think coffee when I think pumpkin spice, but now there's so many pumpkin spice things. I have a, a recipe for a pumpkin, I guess you would call it a pumpkin bread. No, it was a pumpkin sheet cake. Like, you know, like the Texas sheet cake um, that I found last year and you brown the butter and it has the most exquisite taste. Browned butter pumpkin sheet cake. It was one of the best things I've ever tasted. I gotta make that again. All right, uh, pecan pie center stripe ribbon. Okay, snip, snip, and let's do our stamping. You're also gonna need a, um, what is this from? Season, greetings of the season. <laughs> I'm like fading, I'm crashing. I'm like, you know what, it's definitely a nap time. Can I fit a nap in between high school pickup and no, I don't know, maybe. All right, you're gonna need these four stamps. We're gonna color them. What color did we color? I think what I did is I got my light pumpkin pie. Where's my dark pumpkin pie? Do I not have it? What the heck? What the heck? Did I leave it? Did we use it over here? Let me see. Nope. Okay, well, we're just going to go with the light. I don't know where the dark went. I'm going to give it a pumpkin pie, or uh, pecan pie sleeve, a coffee sleeve. And we're going to do the same thing with the shading. And since I can't find my dark, I'm just going to do it with the light because you can do that too. Just layer that color like that. Um, another thing that I probably didn't show you on the last one, you can take your crumb cake and give it a little shadow, like shadow line underneath the sleeve like that. All right, and then we'll use light pumpkin pie on our cute little pumpkin. And we'll take the dark and we'll add some dark like that, just around the lines. Is my camera just focusing in and out, in and out? I don't know why it's doing that. Hi. Probably because I'm too close. All right, then copper clay for the cinnamon stick. I mean, I don't know who's gonna put a cinnamon stick in their coffee, but whatever, it's cute. It's cute. All right, cut them out with the dies. There you go. Um, the cinnamon stick was in the other one. I have it right here. Also, you wanna cut out the word pumpkin from Cajun craze. And pumpkin, uh, these words are so much easier to adhere if you put an adhesive sheet on the back first. I know I like beat that drum every week, but you guys, if you have not gotten these adhesive sheets yet, you need to get them because it is not, it, I mean, it's almost impossible to use liquid glue. Even if you have a fine tip glue, I still make, I make a bigger mess, I think, with a fine tip glue than I do with, um, the regular glue. All right, I'm not gonna take all of this off. We're just gonna get most of it. Okay. And then we're gonna, you need to get this on here first because it barely fits. We're just gonna have it like, like that. It's gonna hang off just a little. And then we'll stamp the words around it using pecan pie. And it says, you had me at Pumpkin spice. That's cute. I like that saying. Remember Jerry Maguire? You had me at hello. One of my all time favorite movies. Dimensionals. Guys, do you see that? Where'd they go? Are they on the other tray? No. Are things just walking away? Here they are. Sometimes I just feel like things just walk away. All right, we'll put that there and we'll put the dimensional right there. Now, I'm not gonna glue those on yet. No, you know what, let's use a, a mini glue dot. 
because we have to, we're gonna tie this like a tag onto that bow. And if I put the liquid glue, then you know that they're gonna just fall off while I'm messing with it. Look, isn't that cute with a little pumpkin? I mean, come on, it's so cute. All right, linen thread. And thread that through that hole that we covered up. Let's see if we can get that through there. We're just gonna tie it around the bow. Like that. Now, if you like pumpkin spice, put something pumpkin spice in here. If not, then just do chocolate. Chocolate makes everyone happy, I think. All right, there you go. I mean, come on now. I'm gonna leave that for my mailman next week. I think that's a pretty good treat, don't you? All right, you guys, so there we go. We did a Christmas. We did a fall and we did a neither with the donuts. We did a non-holiday. Um, I have some bonus projects. Let me show you real quick. Hold on, let me move this out of the way. Um, where's my card from yesterday? Okay, so yesterday we did this card. Little marshmallows in the cup. Hello, fall. You can keep it simple. This is um, that sketched plaid background stamp. You can just take your... Um, Stampin' Blends and a ruler and just kind of draw those lines through there. I use Cajun Craze and Pumpkin Pie. That's fun. I've been seeing a lot of people do that. And then this one will be up on Monday. And that's, again, where I didn't use the little die. I didn't realize there was a little die for that. Nothing's better than pumpkin pie except maybe you. This is that paper from the To Market pack. So you could use that. And then also, how about this? I'm going to share this too. This is... Um, Look at that fly, it just landed right there. It, it's a fruit fly and it knew that there was candy in there. Um, these are pumpkin pie M&Ms, also found at Walmart. So I'll have a link to all that, to the test tubes and stuff on Monday, okay? All right, you guys, that's it. Remember, if you want these three projects, all you have to do is put in an order by Monday at midnight, order anything you want, as long as it's over $35 and uses this host code right here. I will cut them on Tuesday and mail them on Wednesday. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Thanks for joining me. Um, I am going to go take a break. Let's see, can I fit a nap in? I have about an hour. I think I can. We'll see. You guys have a great weekend. Thanks for putting up with me. See y'all next week. Bye.